Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking, and I'm out camping. The weather has not been the best, um, but I'm going to try and get in a Dutch oven supper anyway. And so I'm going to try and show you, it's very easy to make as long as the campfire cooperates, um, how to make a chuck wagon steak with Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. You can see Mike got me the tripod here for uh, Christmas, so we're going to give that a try and have a wood fire going. And I'm letting my Dutch oven heat up uh, before I get ready to put my um, st uh, chuck wagon steak in. It's actually a chuck steak and you want a piece of meat for this that uh, has some fat to it. You can do leaner cuts of meat and you can do even um, moose and elk and venison uh, in this, but you have to do it at a lower heat um, or otherwise the meat just won't get tender. So anyway, um, my Dutch oven is heating and I'm going to show you quick what goes in it. Um, just a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bottom. Um, of course my chuck wagon steak, my chuck steak. Um, olives and I already mixed up my barbecue sauce and jade with Jack Daniels. Some Montreal seasoning some chili powder and a bunch of onions because we like onions. So that's all that goes into it. Um, as soon as my Dutch oven gets uh, warmed up here, we'll add a little bit of oil and uh, the spices and we'll brown the uh, chuck steak. And then uh, after we get it browned, we'll add all the goodies. Okay. The pan is nice and hot. Lay down some Montreal seasoning and some of the chili powder. We'll also coat the steak as soon as it goes in the pan. And you can be heavy on the chili powder. It's partly what gives it the good flavor. We have my nice piece of chuck. I'm just gonna. Oh, listen to that. And let that sear. As soon as that side gets seared, I'm going to flip it over and we'll sear the other side. Getting a nice sear on it. We'll get this side seared nice with all the seasonings and spice that'll walk in the juices while I put this on to cook. Add a little bit more oil here. Then I'm going to throw my onions in and let them cook. In. And I only used um, about half of a five ounce jar of olives. And I just slice them in half. <coughs> oh man. I really should have smell of it. This is really yummy. I'm going to be making um, some Spanish rice to go with this. Have salad, and that's gonna finish out the meal. But uh, so you all like to see a little Dutch oven cooking over a wood fire, my dad. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna add my uh, Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Oh man, 
really should have smell vision Really should have smell vision Get all this out because I certainly don't want to waste any of this. This is the good stuff. And yes, if you want to know how to make Jack Daniel's barbecue sauce, I can show that at a later date. I'm going to raise this a little bit because I wanted the higher heat for searing, but now I want it to uh, cook at a lower temp. So I'm going to I'm going to grab these. These things, people, are the bomb, especially for Dutch oven cooking. They actually are a uh, Kevlar mix um, thermal glove and I really like them except for when they get caught on my ring there we go and I like that they have the, the wrists covered as well because dealing with burns just stinks but they have high dexterity and they're great so and I have my lid cover here Put this back on. Set this off to the side. And then we'll try that for a while. So I'm not gonna let that go. It's probably gonna take a good 45 minutes to an hour on this, and uh, we'll check her out later. Okay, so this is pretty well done. Just take the lid off here. Set that off to the side. Oh man, look at that bubbly goodness. Let's see if you can see that real well. I'm gonna take it off the hook and I'm gonna bring it over and slice it up. Did I tell you I love these gloves? Alright. There. That's some of the bubbly goodness. And, and not too soon, I might add, because it's starting to sprinkle here. Go. Let's see here. There we go. There's a nice piece. So you can kind of see here what it looks like and I'm gonna cut this up and we're gonna serve up some supper okay so here it is all dished up see my Spanish rice and my salad and here you can see the chuck wagon steak with bar with barbecue Jack Daniels barbecue sauce and of course I always try it It's pretty tender, especially for a chuck roast. But the fat breaks down. And you need that marbling or that fat to help break down the enzymes. So a leaner piece of meat for something like this isn't as good, but it still does work and it still tastes just as good. So like I said, chuck wagon steak with Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. And finally a successful camping vid and Dutch oven cooking with wood vid. So uh, we're going to try and finish out the weekend here. It's starting to rain again. Oh well, at least I got dinner made. Anyway, till next time, bye.